everybody, welcome back to our channel, Rebecca, Stu, and the crew. I'm Mariah, and today I'm going to show you how to make clothespin cookies. Clothespin cookies can be a little difficult to make. I'm going to show you tips and tricks that we learned along the way. So don't be worried, let's get started. The first tip we're going to show you is to soak your clothespins in olive oil for two hours. This will give us time to make our dough and put it in the refrigerator for two hours so the clothespins and the dough will be dry at the same time. So we've poured olive oil onto our cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil and then what we do is we take our clothespins and we roll them in the oil to make sure they're well coated and then we line them up on the cookie sheet. In an hour we roll them again just to make sure that they're well coated and saturated in oil. The first thing we're going to do is add half a pound of butter, one tablespoon of vegetable shortening like Crisco, a half teaspoon of sugar, one large egg, and a half cup of water. We're going to cream these together with the mixer and then slowly add two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Now we're going to place our clothespin dough in the refrigerator for two hours. This is a very important step because this is a very sticky dough. It needs to be chilled for at least two hours. Now that my dough has chilled for two hours, I take a small ball of dough out of the refrigerator and I leave the rest in the refrigerator to stay cold. To make the dough workable, I use a little bit of flour and I knead it in. Now on some parchment paper, I just use a rolling pin to roll it out and then I'm going to use this to cut into strips and start wrapping around the clothespins. she cut the dough we're going to go ahead and wrap them around the clothespin so when you wrap them around the clothespin you want to make sure that you overlap the dough like we did with this one After baking the cookies for 10 to 12 minutes in a 350 degree oven, we pull the cookies off of the clothespins. I like to do this while the cookies are still hot. If they cool down too much, it makes it harder to get the cookie off of the clothespin. I do this by grasping the whole entire cookie with my hand and then gently sliding it off. It helps it to come off in one piece. The filling for these cookies is just a simple buttercream icing. I am going to place the recipe at the end of this video. Now that the cookies are completely cooled down, we put the icing in a piping bag and we just fill the cookies from the inside out and we make sure to fill from both sides. You can also color the icing if you want it for a wedding, a birthday, or anything like that. Sometimes we make them red and green for Christmas. You could also use a Ziploc bag if you don't have a piping bag and just cut a hole on the, in the end of the bag. That also works. And to finish them off, we just rolled them in some powdered sugar. And here's the recipe for the buttercream icing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching.